Right guys, welcome to MK Sport Cars and welcome to the awesome Donington Park where today MK Sports Cars and RLM Racing are going to be testing out the Cup 200, the new car that we launched at the Stony Exhibition. Well, let's get what? Let's get to the garages and go and take a look. Um, you know this was launched at the Stony Kit Car Show, a uh, single brake race series type car that we're trying to develop and we're having its debut today. It's had a morning session already, which has been really kicking its head in, getting some data, getting some times together with it, what it's doing, checking temperatures, checking everything that needs to be done on the car. So far, it's amazing. And in a minute, I'm going to jump in that passenger seat and go for a few hot laps. I want to say an expletive, <laughs> but, oh, you need to get in this car. It's the grip, the phenomenal performance. I mean, <laughs> the handshake says it all. What a tool, what a tool. I'm going to say, come and have a go. This thing is off the chain. It's unbelievable. Obviously, Rich, extremely capable driver and it put this in the hands of a serious weapon, this thing is off the chain. I can't believe how much grip, grip and the brakes, phenomenal. Stands on its nose. Cup 200 car, tick box. That was the fastest car I've ever been in my life. The performance, everything about it, the braking, the handling, unbelievable. That's the most unreal experience I've had in a car. The, the, the buzz from that is, mate, I tell you, wait till you go in it. The buzz from it is, um, I've never known it, mate, honestly. The first, he chucks in the corner that hard, mate. You, your head feels like some And I've, I've, like I said, I've been in some fast cars, I've built some fast cars, but that. Nah. For the money, I just cannot believe what you got. strapped in tight as well like you said <laughs> i told you and my helmet first time i've ever had my helmet kind of going yeah, loose on me it's like yeah 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 you can feel everything <laughs> flapping about 
the way we've been around this track before was like his cool down lap for me and you. Yeah, we the car it. could just go that quick, it was just ridiculous. How so you? much fun. Now you've been in that, an M2 or that? No, oh, all day this. <laughs> Well, that's a Cup 200 experience. Two very happy customers. <laughs> yeah. Rich testing it here at the helm. A couple of customers experiencing the mechanical grip. No air on this car, you don't need it. It's on a control road tire. Um, and we're still lapping in uh, very respectable lap times, actually. A um, little bit of play, wasn't it, in it? A little oh. bit of drifting for you. Look, yeah, who and it uh, very well balanced, <laughs> yeah. unpredictable car. Rich has had it dancing on its toes. Well, I think we've done about uh, 40 laps today, it said, uh, yeah, it said it certainly had its very, very good shakedown. It's pretty, probably the equivalent of a, a year's worth of race meetings in one day. So, um, yeah, the new sump system stood up, all the mechanics stood up, the ECU stood up, the new cup chassis stood up, the new wishbone set up, everything else is there. So, um, and we just uh, now it's just a little bit of fettling, a bit more seat time, a bit more track time. We're ready for its debut. Oh. We're here with a Cup 200 car, and as you know, this now has the new SX style bodywork. Well, we've had a few inquiries about what is the difference between the SX bodywork and the standard Indy Classic bodywork. Well, we'll start at the front of the car. Nothing on the rings. We still do the CSR style front arches here, but the nose cone's very different. Um, it's much lower here. Uh, the aperture's the same, but also on the side here, we've slimmed down the side section here, and it sits further back around over the steering rack, there needs to be a bulge here um, and a gap, so this fills in this gap. Moving on to the bonnet, the bonnet had been changed from the short scoop and now we have the longer scoop and it's available now, it fits the booster engine underneath with the standard air filter. Moving on to the side, the side panels, they have a section here at the front that's all moulded with a return edge, we don't fill the panel right up to the front, we prefer to get the cooling and ducting through this side panel here helps with cooling in the engine bay etc as well and then it runs along to the side of the vehicle and it has this radius edge here that smooths out into the rear arch um, this now ends up being 30 mil wider than stock so it means you don't have to run extra wide arches to run the 8 inch wheel so we run a 13 by 8 inch with a 205 fits perfectly in line with that this arch continues with its bead all the way up the top here and joins the back panel the back panels now have a return on both sides here, so they butt flush together. This back panel here has been widened by 10 mil over the stock, so basically you can bolt this to the side panel, that to the side panel, and actually put it all on in one go. So very easy and very, very quick to fit the SX bodywork, because the rear arch can actually be fitted onto the side panel and back panel and put onto the vehicle in one go. So if you do have an accident or bend, we can replace a panel, probably like a rear arch and everything alignment in, in literally 10 minutes. Side panels can unbolt, the rear tub can unbolt. Very, very quick to change. The scuttle is exactly the same as we do on the standard one, the same classic style. But yeah, they're the main differences and the main changes. If you want to run eight inch wheel, don't have to run extra wide arches and rear spacers. You're straight in, you're ready to go.
Right, while we're here in the workshop, as always, we like to keep you up to date with the chassis register. Well, Anna's gonna pick it up. Oh, which side? That side today. We like to keep you on your toes. But yeah, hopefully you can see yourself in here. Cue that, and if you wanna get yourself in a queue, give us up a phone call, an email, and of course, we'll be happy to oblige. Here we are guys, Donington Park, close of the day. We were still with the Cup 200 car. Um, well, I'm gonna say it's been a successful day. It's successful in the sense that, yes, it's still here in one piece, but B, it's really had a kicking in from this man, the talented Mr. Driver here, Mr. Webb. So Mr. Webb, how did it go today? Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Couldn't really ask much more from the car. I mean, it's, um, well, it's had nothing other than fuel all day. Um, quick spammer check here and there, a few setup tweaks, and we must have done, I need to check laser, but I think we've done over 50 laps today. It's been consistent all day, um, the temperatures have all been good, uh, the handling is really predictable, um, so I think it'd be a great car to stick people in, who, even if they aren't used to this car, it's not going to bite you in any way. Um, brakes have been brilliant all day, we haven't, haven't had to bleed them, haven't had to do anything, um, it's just been super consistent. Just done exactly what, funnily enough, what we built it for. Just gone round and round and round at a decent pace and put a smile on everyone's Yeah, face. We, you know, obviously there's no lap timing today and things and data logging, but we've got some times on this one it's achieving. It's exactly where we thought it would be in terms of times, in terms of performance. Um, predictability, as Rich said, as handling. Yes, all he had is stuck some of the old, very expensive fuel in the back there. And the good thing is the new sump system yeah. that Rich has designed for this for a booster engine is a massive tick. Uh, which is in this on obviously on a control tyre and that has performed. Yeah, I mean the sump system is one thing which actually, yeah, it's funny you should mention it because I'd completely forgot about it actually, which is a nice <laughs> thing. We, um, we set the oil level this morning, we've been data logging it all day and we haven't seen any surge on the brakes, down craners, anything. It's just been absolutely perfect, which for a wet sump system of a car doing the laps it's been doing today, I think is... Um, yeah, it's quite a good achievement, really. Yeah, I mean, literally, this has probably had equivalent of about four or five race meetings today, Rich. You know, it's really had its head. Poor little car has really, really been bouncing off the limiters all day. Gear shift systems work spot on. Seats, position, harnesses, tyres. We've been super happy, and I think we've ticked so many boxes now. If you want to get involved into the Cup 200 car, Rich is here to support you with that. We'll be doing some more test days. Test day one has gone absolutely stonking. We're super happy with it. Um, I think there's going to be some really challenging, some really serious cars with this. Um, I mean, I don't even know how to wrap this up, but other than say, I can't believe how many boxes we've ticked today. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. Rich really, you know, he's the man that's driven this behind it as well. So I think if you want to know more about this car, I'll tell you what we do. We'll get some live video up there, won't we, Rich? Showing Absolutely, you yeah. We've got plenty of footage from today. Plenty, so. of, plenty of data, plenty of information about how the car was driving. Had some passenger hot laps today as well. We did indeed, and I think their reactions uh, spoke a thousand words, really. Um, the reactions today were absolutely phenomenal. So, yeah, I can vouch, I passengered in this car. I, my heart rate was in uh, up, up here somewhere, off the Richter scale, and yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't praise it enough. Yeah, what can I say, guys? Cup 200 car. Like, share, RLM racing, all over it. <laughs>